Let's install Microsoft Visual Studio Code for Linux for use with C, C++ and Fortran. Let's first check whether the compilers are already present. I'm on the Ubuntu 20 system with GCC All the utilities which we need are not there yet. So under the Ubuntu system, we can use the apt utility to install packages. So sudo apt install and then the package name and the compilers are in the package build this essential. The Fortran compiler is not included in that package, so let's install it separately. It's called gfortran. So we should now have which GCC user bin GCC. Let's check G++, gfortran and the make utility. So all are installed now. Next is the Fortran language server. For that we need Python and Python 3 pip. Now that pip is installed, we can use it to install the Fortran language server. It's now installed. Let's install some additional utilities which are extremely useful. Vim, git, unzip, csh, and liplapak-dev. Lastly, install curl and wget. We installed the csh shell. Let's now configure that one. For that we need software that is called ohmycsh. So let's look on the internet. Ohmycsh. We find the GitHub, scroll down, and we can now install it via curl. Select the link and paste it into the terminal. It's asked whether we want to change the default shell to CSH. I'm going to do that. It's not necessary. It now ran the CSH shell with Ctrl D. I can go out and I can manually start it. Next, we're going to configure this shell. With Vim, I can open several files at the same time. I'm going to open two files, the .cshrc and the agnostor theme file. In the third file, the .cshrc, we can find the theme. The default theme is Ruby Russell. I'm going to change that to agnostor. And let's start the shell over here to see the effect. You can see it did take effect, but we have missing fonts. So let's fix that first. Let's look for sfmono powerline. We find here the GitHub. And we can copy the link. And via git clone, download the sfmono powerline fonts. You can see here all the font files. To install them, as root, we can copy the font files to user local share 
fonts. We can update the cache of the fonts with the command fs-cache. And you can now go to the terminal settings, preferences, and set the new font. Search for the SF Mono, and we can now see the installed fonts. I'm going to choose the Powerline Medium. Now we can see that it did take effect. We can see here the path. The path is dark on dark. So let's change that. We have the two files, the .csrc and the theme file. In the theme file, we can see that if you don't specify anything, a dark variant is assumed. So the first step would be to take the solarized theme variable and in the .csrc specify that we want the light theme. Ctrl D, start the shell, and we can now see that white on blue is much better. I would also like to have a string in front of my prompt. I can search for AWS. Take this AWS underscore profile. Go to the CSHRC. And I would like my channel name, my YouTube channel name to be in front of it. Ctrl D, start the shell again. You can see now that takes effect. But there's also a string AWS in front of it. It's hard coded, so we can just remove it. Ctrl D, she's eight. Now this is the shell as I would like it to have. For you, you can just modify the .csrc and the theme files to your liking. The last step is to actually log out. Log back in, and then you can see the default shell taking effect. If I now click on the terminal, it's the CSH shell. If you go to a directory with as in .git, you can see the git information. So for example, if I modify a file, save it, the color denotes the status of the git. So this is useful information to have. So I've now installed the compilers, we configured the CSH shell. In the next video we're going to install Visual Studio Code and make use of these utilities, including the new CSH shell.